Well, didn't expect to see this in tabloid headlines today, but Elon Musk actually tells Disney boss Bob Iger to go F himself. And it's in regards to Bob Iger pulling the advertising from X, from Twitter. Musk said in an interview with Andrew Ross Sorkin at the New York Times that ad boycotts could kill the company, and he wasn't rolling over. Don't advertise. If someone is going to try and blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go F yourself. Go F yourself. Is that clear? Hey, Bob, if you're in the audience, that's how I feel. Don't advertise. Yeah, I don't think anyone's really publicly, you know, at the level of Elon Musk said <laughs> anything like that to Bob Iger, but you know, uh, all right. What's this advertising boycott is going to do is it is going to kill the company, Musk said, and the whole world will know that those advertisers killed the company. For his part, Iger pulled the ads in mid-November. He told Sorkin he had a lot of respect for Musk and his accomplishments, but, and we know Elon isn't larger than life in many respects and that his name is very much tied to the companies he either has founded or he owns, says Disney CEO. And by him taking the position that he took in quite a public manner, we just felt that the association with that position and Elon Musk and X was not necessarily a positive one for us, and we decided we would pull our advertising. Yeah, that w that potentially could hurt Twitter. The billionaire walked back his post responding to the complaint triggering the ad departure. I should, in retrospect, not have replied to that particular post and should have expanded in greater length about what I meant. I handed a loaded gun to those who hate me. It was one of the most foolish things that he has said on the platform. Jonathan, what I am trying to illustrate is that sometimes I say the wrong thing. As for his popularity, Musk said, there is a real weakness to wanting to be liked. I have no problem being hated, by the way hate away. You know, I think what he suffered from that moment was simply just having enough of people having this idea of him and constantly telling him what to do and how to do it and this and that. I can't imagine the level of pressure that he must feel to always appease everybody. And I don't think he's the kind of guy that really gives a damn, but it can be annoying to have so many mosquitoes buzzing around you and just wanting to take a chunk out of you for whatever nefarious reason. I feel in this case, you know, he probably is really tired of <laughs> the state of Star Wars. And he probably had enough. And he's like, yo, you screwed up enough of this crap. Now you're going to take the bread from my mouth. And you're going to take the advertising away from X. Well, you know what? Go F yourself. And it's probably what he's been thinking for a very long time. And it took, you know, a moment of emotional outburst for him to actually say what he's been thinking for a while. And, you know... It happens, but, you know, he retracted it and went back on it and said, hey, like, I probably shouldn't have said that. And he probably shouldn't have. You know, that's not something that you need to give your haters, uh, you know, literally like a loaded gun. And I think in retrospect, you know, he's probably thinking about it. And he's like, yeah, probably shouldn't have said that. But you know what? <laughs> F him anyways. I still meant what I said. And that's the thing, you know, if they're going to try and play this sort of like political game, and that's what Disney does. They try to play this political left ideology game where they're just pandering to a certain group of people all the time instead of just telling stories you know telling nice stories and good stories and that's you know what they're making money from is that they need to realize that hey nobody cares about your politics we just want good stories for good characters and happy ending or a whatever ending that you want to do what would be funny now is if elon musk full-on just goes and offers to buy disney i think he's got enough money for it but i would say that he could definitely buy lucasfilm like that. And I know he's a big Star Wars fan, so I hope he does. I hope he goes and buys it and makes it better. At the end of the day, I think that's what it really needs. But yeah, this was it. He just basically <laughs> And now so many people are are that are on Elon Musk's side are going and unsubscribing from Disney Plus like crazy. And uh yeah, so you know, these are some other tabloid headlines. Disney faces boycott after Elon Musk cursed out CEO Bob Iger. There are tons of people unsubscribing right this second. Thousands of users are canceling Disney Plus subscriptions after Elon Musk told CEO Bob Iger to go F yourself for blackmailing him over advertising on X. Yeah, and you know what? Dude, canceled. Damn. Yeah, that's that's rough, man. I mean, Elon's, I think, got like 170 million followers on X, and he's definitely creating a platform there that's creating a lot of noise. He is basically trying to create a one-stop shop for everything. He's trying to compete with YouTube. He's trying to compete with news articles and sources. He's trying to compete with TikTok. He's trying to compete with what the old Twitter used to be. And I think, you know, he's, he's making a platform for stocks. I mean, you can now get paid. I get paid for posts. I get paid now for uploading videos. And I'm going to start uploading all my videos from YouTube to X. Because it's like, why not? That's just another platform. So 
he's doing a lot. And I think for him to be blackmailed, to have the funding pulled, he had every reason to be pissed off and say, hey, no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna push me around with money. I got way more money than you. And I'm way more powerful than you. Whether you agree with what he said or not, I think we need much more people like that in this world who aren't afraid to say what they think. And you have so many people today that are so unbelievably just shutting their mouth because they don't want to get canceled. They don't want to lose their money. They don't want to lose their job or whatever it might be. But imagine if you don't have those fears. Oh my gosh, you'll say it how it is. You say what you want when you want. And you, you are the most real person that there is because you're not holding anything back for your own personal gain. And I think in today's world, that's really prevalent. So, hey, you know, I, I respect him for what he said. And I hope more people can be a little more candid and a little more honest. You know, they don't necessarily have to go cussing people out. But, you know, being more honest with what you think, I think, is really refreshing in today's world. I don't think this will be really all that bad for Disney. I think, you know, they're going to lose some subscribers. But at the end of the day, you know, there's going to be a show that comes out and then people are going to resubscribe because they'll forget about it. It's at the end of the day, you know, it's just it's. It's just like a momentary sort of thing, I think. But yeah, what do you guys think about it? I wonder if Elon is now going to try and buy Lucasfilm. I would love that to happen. You know, just offer them like some exorbitant amount of money and that would be a real F you. I'd love to see that. Do you think Disney would ever sell to him? Do you think Lucasfilm would be in good hands with Elon Musk? Or do you think that's just a recipe for disaster or what if Jeff Bezos bought, bought it? I don't know. With that rings of power? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what happens. Well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And that's a little bit of news and drama for today. Go follow me on X at Real SW Theory. And I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, remember the force will be with you always.